For my place analysis project, I have chosen Alaska. In 1867, the United States purchased Alaska, which was referred to as Seward's Folly because some Americans thought it was a horrible deal. For $7.2 million, the United States was 586,412 square miles larger. I decided to analyze Alaska because I was fortunate enough to be able to travel to Fairbanks, Alaska with the Ohio State University's rifle team a few weeks ago. Fairbanks is slightly southeast from the center of Alaska. The Alaska Pipeline runs right past Fairbanks, which is a very small city with about 32,000 people. As cool as Alaska is, there really isn't much to do there. On our free time, we decided to head about 50 miles northeast to the Chena Hot Springs to get in a nice cleanse. The hot springs are a naturally heated body of water. The sulfur-rich water tends to differ in temperature depending on which parts of the spring you are in. Usually the edges are significantly warmer. Sitting in the hot springs, you can see the snow-covered mounds surrounding the resort. Although there are areas of large mounds all over, Alaska is actually very flat. The entire city of Fairbanks is fairly flat, sort of like Columbus. The environment, especially in the winter, is extremely intense. Summer temperatures range from 50 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit, while winter low temperatures range from negative 15 to negative 25 degrees Fahrenheit. Extreme low temperatures have been known to reach as low as negative 75 degrees. During our visit, it was surprisingly warm, about 15 degrees. It was really depressing how the sun only stayed up for about 5 hours, typically rising at 10.30 and setting at 3.30. In the summer, the sun does the opposite. It will only be dark for a few hours, which is cool, but it may be hard to fall asleep. As beautiful as Alaska is, it can be a big risk when it comes to winter living or even gold mining, which occurs during the short summer months. Alaska is loaded with gold buried underground and under old waterfalls and rivers. Some of the gold even washed out into the Bering Sea near Anchorage. In 2009, about 800,000 ounces of gold were produced from Alaska. Surprisingly, in Alaska, everything is much more expensive compared to Columbus. At this little cafe we ate at, prices were through the roof. A tiny car of chocolate milk was $3. Everybody was so unexpected of this. Despite the high prices, the breakfast was still delicious. This is a huge mound we hiked up. Actually, just kidding. This trip to Alaska was a great experience, and I learned even more about it while doing this project. I hope you enjoyed it, and go Bucks!